Today, we dive into glazing, a technique used on the boxed art of all of your favorite miniatures. For the longest time, artists have sworn by this technique, where many of which have been showcased on magazines like White Dwarf. By the end of this video, you too will be ready to join their ranks. Just look at these examples of highly detailed miniatures. Each one, through the use of glazing, tells a unique story all of which have amazing visual interest and contrast. Glazing has been a technique I've been using to paint my miniatures and it has been giving nothing less than shockingly breathtaking results. First, let's demystify glazing. It's used to create seamless transitions between mid-tones, shades, and highlights through the use of multiple thin layers of paint. But what is the secret to those layers? It's dilution. But how much dilution? And can we use something other than water? The answer is yes. Take a look at my wet palette, where I begin to make a glaze by adding brush loads of water to my paint. The idea is for the paint to be diluted enough so that it becomes translucent. And as a rule of thumb, pun intended, I always make sure to test against my nail. That way I can visually inspect the consistency of the paint. My objective is to achieve a ratio of 90% water and 10% paint. Some critics may ask, well, what if it's 20% paint and 80% water? Do ratios actually matter? Ratios absolutely matter. The idea behind glazing is for one to control the smoothness of the transition. And as a result of the glaze being super thin and translucent, the painter would visibly be able to see the pre-existing layer hidden beneath it after the layers have been applied, which may not otherwise be possible if the paint was too thick. But what about control? Wouldn't diluting your paint so much expose your miniature the risk of unwanted bleed over? To solve this, the painter maintains control of the glaze by removing some of it from the brush by passing along the surface of the palette while simultaneously rotating it. This allows the brush to form a fine tip and will turn the bristles from wet to moist. Okay, but what about using something other than water to dilute the paint? Could you instead use a medium? Yes. Unlike water, mediums will distribute the paint evenly throughout the glaze, where water may disproportionately move the pigments and they may dry unevenly. So actually, you can further the level of control by adding a medium to your glaze. Here's an example of how I layer thin glazes to achieve a realistic tone on a miniature. When it comes to glazing, color choice is crucial. So make sure to select colors which complement each other and fit the scheme of your miniature. A well thought out color palette is foundational to successful blending. Glazing is all about building up thin layers of paint. Start by laying down your base colors and gradually work them into one another by making a glaze of those colors and applying thin down layers. By making a glaze of the colors already situated on your miniature and applying them to parts of the miniature where they are needed, you will start to see the transition slowly over time. By layering your paint in this way, you will see a smooth transition. Brush control plays a significant role in the success of your glazing. Use a brush with a fine tip for precision. In this example, you can see how layering with a glaze can transform Form your miniature's armor, adding depth and realism. Make sure to pay attention to the direction of your strokes and how you can apply the glaze to different parts of the miniature. When blending with glazes, make sure to let each layer dry before applying the next layer. This will prevent unwanted mixing, which will result in a disaster for your transitions. The key is to make a glaze out of a layer of paint already situated on the miniature that you wish to blend into by overlapping it with your glaze. You can test your glaze by transitioning mid-tones on a test surface or a miniature you don't mind making mistakes on. And there you have it. Glazing is a versatile technique used for smoothing transition and creating awesome blends. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to experiment. Until the next video, happy painting.